Hello, welcome to Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we'll continue adding fractions, but in this case when we get our answer, frequently what will happen is uh, we'll have a fraction that we can simplify into simpler terms. So we're still adding fractions, we're still following the same rules, we're just taking it one further step in the answer. So what if we had a fraction like 1 fourth, and we're adding to that a second fraction also called a fourth, or also shown as a fourth, um, how do we add it together? Well, first thing we check is see, are the denominators the same? And they are, so we just keep that denominator along for the ride. And then we add one plus one, and I'll just put that up there to remind you we're adding it together. And so what you'll get is two fourths. Now, two fourths is the correct answer. It is the addition of these two fractions. But if you remember back from previous lessons, um, uh, we had talked about the fact that we have to check to make sure everything's simplified. Now, in this case, we can simplify this fraction further because we notice that we can divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. Remember, when simplifying fractions, and we've talked about this a great deal in previous lessons, you can divide the top and the bottom by anything you like as long as you do it to the top and the bottom. And when you do it to both top and bottom, you haven't really changed what the fraction is or what it represents. You're just changing the way it looks on the board. But it represents the same amount of, amount of stuff. So what we have here is, uh, since we have 2 fourths as the answer, we can divide the top by 2. We can also divide the bottom by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the answer to this is 1 half. That's what you would circle on your paper. The fraction 2 fourths is exactly the same as 1 half. So this is correct also, but usually when you circle things on your exam or your test, you want to simplify into lowest terms. Now again, we're not going to do this for every problem, but I want to show you graphically what's happening here, just so since we're getting our feet wet. The fraction 1 fourth looks like this. We cut a pizza into four pieces, and we are only interested in one piece here because it's one out of four pieces. That's what that represents. And we're adding to it this 1 fourth, which is really the same exact thing. So here's another pizza. We divide it up into four pieces, and let's call this pizza this one piece over here for this 1 fourth. All right, now when we add these together, it's still going to be in terms of four pieces because the you know, the uh, denominator is a 4. But here we've added this one to this one. So what do we have? We have, I'm going to switch colors. We have this piece from the, the first pizza, and we have this piece from the second pizza. Now let me ask you this. What fraction does this represent? This fraction is two pieces out of four pieces altogether, two-fourths. Notice that's what we got up here. The answer was two-fourths. So we could stop there, but usually what we want to do is simplify the fraction, make it simpler, try to simplify everything we can. And we're saying that through this whole process here, it's the same thing as one-half. And I think you'd all agree that this fraction is indeed half the pizza. And if you really wanted to draw that, here's the pizza. If you draw a line right here and just shade the whole top half, because that's what we have here, the whole top half shaded. This is one out of two pieces, which is one half. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, sometimes you add fractions and you get an answer that is totally correct, but you can simplify it into a simpler looking fraction. This fraction and this fraction are, represent the same amount of pizza. I mean, if somebody asks you, hey, do you want half a pizza or do you want two fourths of a pizza? Well, there's no right answer because it's exactly the same amount of pizza. When you look at how much is shaded, it's the same thing. But always when we add fractions, we want to simplify the answer. So that's what we're going to be doing in all of these problems. So what if we have 1 half plus 1 half? 